G'day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everyone in between. My name is Matthew. Welcome, welcome, welcome to howtoplaythesax.com. Here at howtoplaythesax.com, we are all about having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome and repeating the whole process. And occasionally we do some gear reviews. Haven't done a gear review for a little while, so I thought I'd do one today. So this gear review is the Hercules, Hercules Stands, Stands for your saxophone, the Hercules Stand, D for dog, S for Sam, the number five, the number three, another number three, B for Bob, another B for Bob, D, S, five, three, three, B, B, Hercules Stands. Now, Hercules make really good stands. They make good stands and their stands come in nice little bags. You can't miss the nice little yellow bag. This particular saxophone stand, I like it because it holds up a tenor sax or an alto sax and a soprano sax. And a soprano sax. So what we've got inside the bag, inside the bag, we have the, if I can just get it out, we have the whole thing here. We'll get rid of the bag. The bag's not important right now, but it's handy. We have two components. The first component is the main, the main part of the stand, a main sack stand. It comes, it's fairly small, it all packs down. You can't fit it in the bell of a sax, but that's okay. That's okay, it's nice and small, but it's very sturdy, very compact, very sturdy, it's made of metal. So the way it works is you unfold, it's got these little clippy things, a bit hard to see, but the little those little metal bits that push in to um to fold it to fold it back there we go so if you unclip it and put that one up put this one up as well there is the sack stand there is the sack stand as it stands get it see as it stands that's funny the hercules ds 533 bb what well, we've got very, very sturdy, very sturdy, made of metal. This little guy here in the, the, the main where the saxophone actually rests. Here's one I prepared earlier. So you can, so, you know, that's how it goes just like that. But what you can do is this little guy at the bottom, it moves up and down. You can set it, it's a bit hard to see, but you can set it up high for your alto sax, or you can set it down low for your tenor sax, either or, doesn't matter. Now also, so as it is, you can as a standalone, if you just have a, happen to have an alto sax or a tenor sax, this will do the job. Now also, the DS533BB comes with an attachment for your soprano sax, your straight standard soprano sax. It has, again, it's a bit tricky to see, but it has on the main legs, two little spots that you can choose either or I just happen to have mine here you can take these little plugs out and with your soprano gizmo you just screw it in and Bob's your uncle there it is Bob's your uncle soprano sax and tenor sax or soprano sax and alto sax either or whichever is good for you what I like about the soprano bit here is you, if you happen to have a soprano by it's it's adjustable you can because soprano saxes different makes different models they're slightly different shapes so this piece here this piece for the soprano sax is adjustable you can adjust the bass bit up high up higher or down low I'll leave it where it is because it's set for my soprano sax but you can adjust it up high down low depending on your model of soprano sax I really like these Hercules stands. I've got one here holding up my tenor sax. You've seen that in a lot of my videos, but this one as well, I use this on stage. I use this in rehearsals. I use this at home. They're very sturdy. They're very sturdy. The only suggestion that I need to make, it's not a complaint. It's just something that you need to point out, that I need to point out. These are all, these are all silver buttons that you can push in to open and close and lock the bits into place. This one at the top, this one here at the top, if I've, I've found a couple of times, if you're just in a hurry, if you just kind of open it and you sort of don't quite get it right, 
then it doesn't quite open. So if you put your sacks in there, when it's not quite open, it can fall. So note to self, the Hercules DS533BB, make sure you push the button in, make sure the top yoke, this, this Y shape, make sure that is locked in place before you put on your saxophone, either a tenor or an alto. I like them. I like these Hercules stands. I like the yellow bit because while it's cool to have it all black, if you're on stage and the lights go out, it's a bit difficult to see. Oh man, where's my saxophone? Whoop, bump, crunch. Saxophones don't like being dropped. Saxophones and gravity, say no to gravity when you've got your saxophone involved. So I do like these yellow bits. The same deal with the um, with the, the big stand I've got here. There's a yellow piece on the, on the bottom. I've done a review for the tall one, but this, the Hercules DS533BB, I like them a lot. If you are looking for a stand, they make all different kinds of stands. They actually do a double, a double yoke up, you know, like they've got this bit. And again, they've got one so you can put your tenor sax and your alto sax all on the one thing. Um, I like this one because I keep, I like to keep my tenor sax and my alto sax and my soprano sax. I like to keep them vaguely separate. So I keep my tenor sax on one and I keep my alto sax and my soprano sax on another. And that way, you know, I can separate them if, if room is a little bit, you know, if you're a little bit pressed for space on the stage or in, at home or in the rehearsal room. It just makes it easy. You can put your, your, your tenor sax there and your alto sax there. Blah, blah, blah. Doesn't matter. I like the separate rather than the, the one stand which has all of them. But a student of mine, he's got one that has both for his tenor and his alto. It's really cool. Doesn't take up too much room. I like these. I like these a lot. If you are looking for a sturdy stand, please go and get one of these Hercules. Hercules DS533BB. You don't have to have a soprano sax. This bit comes off. If I'm not playing my soprano, I don't bother setting it up. I just use this bit. Anyway, my name is Matthew. Thank you for joining me. Please, if you are looking for more gear reviews or perhaps you're looking for saxophone lessons, please visit me at howtoplaythesax.com. Got lots of gear reviews, lots and lots and lots of hints and tips inside the blog. Lots and lots and lots of lessons, saxophone lessons inside the membership area where you go up to 100 and at time of filming this video, there's more than 120. So, you know, you can't go too far wrong. Please, if you're looking for saxophone lessons, particularly if you're a beginner, visit me at howtoplaythesax.com where we're all about having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome and repeating the whole process. And especially if you're into rock and funk and soul and blues saxophone, we have got lots and lots and lots of lessons just for you. My name is Matthew. Thank you very much for visiting here at howtoplaythesax.com. Thank you.